Hello, all, and welcome back to High Priest Reacts to, uh, MLP, Under Magic, Episode 8, Season 8, Episode 11, Molt Down, which I am 99% certain that this is the episode where Spike grows a pair of wings. I already had that bit spoiled for a bit of knowledge spoiled for me. Uh the first second played and hell, the first second played at by accident before. Uh so yeah, I'm at ninety percent sure this is the episode where Spike grows a pair of wings. So that's not much speculation. Uh, it appears to be a rarity and I think I saw as a zebra in the thumbnail, so it might also involve the Flora. Well, yeah, that's basically it. I've got no more speculation. Just, hmm. I'm surprised at the, the outcome of Spike Growing Wings. I mean, I think kids would do it eventually, but also, it feels a little weird that to have the character actually aging in the show i don't know but i, I yeah you expect you semi expect that with the key mark crusaders but like most people didn't even expect them to get their key marks ever <laughs> yeah, boom that episode so start uh two things i need to cover the first is uh Well, I was going to say a good, good and mixed, but honestly, I think I could say both mixed for different reasons. The first is, if for I've talked about how uh, I was going to have to, uh, you know, cut out some of the time for this to record uh, Ruby. Ruby got delayed till next year. That's mixed because I really like Ruby and I really want, you know, not glad about you know taking so long to watch the next episode. But at the same time, uh, that gives us more time for this. Now, other things will happen. I'm straight up going to be recording pretty much every Nintendo Direct and such when it pops up. Depending on the timing, I might even be able to finagle a uh, stream on this channel. Uh, don't, don't hold your hopes up. It'll usually be after the fact. But if I can do that, I will, and thus avoid some of the annoyances I had with uh, having things like the latest Nintendo Direct uh, stuff on the movie revealed. Yeah. I don't think I would react quite the same way as most people did upon finding out Chris Pat playing Mario. But at the same time, I don't quite uh, resonate on the same frequency on everyone else's with that. You got the best reaction to that, go find Narlo. Just completely that 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 entire thing breaks the person. Breaks them. They they can't stop laughing to some degree until it's over. Yeah. It got them bad. It's really funny. Uh but yeah. But I, I imagine I'd at least have had a shocked reaction. Didn't get that because spoiled. I mean, I didn't quite fully believe it, but also until I watched it. But at that point, it wasn't as big a shock. But yeah, those are now, and I'm uploading them. If somebody on my, uh, you know, you can watch my streams, is interested in watching those, so. Someone actually comes up and says, hey, I'd like to watch those. So I, I can make a little time to record, like, one of those <laughs> when they happen and then upload them. Uh, yeah. The other one is we're not going to be doing, uh, for reference, this is before Hall, before, uh, October. We're not going to be recording uh, 
and uh, covered up, not reactions. I've decided that I've repeatedly say Halloween's my favorite time of year, and given Halloween, it's the stuff is ha happens related to yeah, the stuff stuff happens related to Halloween, uh, and Animal Crossing. And I stream it. I feel like I should stream it. Uh, the other factor uh, is that uh, it would also let me progress a little more in my Halloween game. I'm not going to be streaming as much. Yeah, this will all have happened, but I'm just basically playing out my thought process here. But I only two days instead of three, but lets me get a little more done. If, and I'm saying I'd enjoy doing more, honestly. But I say this because I am pretty sure I'm going to get through the rest of this season. Uh, I might be able to swing it one last day, but the, the way I figure, I'll instead use the time freed up by not reporting that week and not streaming for free days like I usually do, uh, just to, to get a little more editing done than I would otherwise. Uh, for reference, I'm not fully done edit editing when I recorded last time. Mostly done. But, just stopped a little short. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, that's it. Those are both the mixed news. I'm pretty sure I'll be done with this by the time the year ends. If not, then the m month after. In which case, I'll be doing the season of Castlevania and shifting back to... Uh... I believe, well, I will at least be going, chugging at it a little less hard, so I can have more time to edit and such. But yeah. Or just, uh, unplugged something. Anyways. Uh, yeah. But with that, I'll be able to <sighs> take it easier, still get through all of that show, as well as the ease, and then I can, planning on uh, recording even less often after that, without, with exceptions for uh, big things like uh, big trailer drops and such. It'll probably be a less often thing. I once said I was going to phase that, with that channel out, and while I didn't go completely through with that, like I said, mostly because this stuff took a lot longer than I thought I was really thinking it would, I'm going to. Eventually. So, anyways. Uh, I appreciate. <laughs> I was about to go hyper setting out, and I'm like, no, I mean, let's get to this thing. By exciting something and rarity is it super suspicious? I just love how she just increasingly tried to discreetly, discreetly look at Fortress. I just fucking tell me what the fuck's wrong with you. I mean, it actually doesn't look that bad in this shot, but when compared to, uh, that close-up of the pulsating, ugh. That one, was, that shot looked horrible. Ooh, he's actually incinerating things instead of just teleporting it. Yeah, of course she'd be fond of it given, you know, that entire episode of her acting. Oh, I remember that episode, that was great. <laughs> ah, he was becoming with a little case of lost voice too. <laughs> and then he is so glad he started doing his feet to scratch it. Oh, lost his hearing. 
Oh, hey, the dragon might actually have answers for what the heck's going on. Yep, that looks says it all. And yeah, he's now got not just red pulsating, but also one matching the color of the rest of his uh, skills. Oh, good for yeah, we're going for that. Uh, excellent little bit of con continuity. Go. I have a feeling she's not going to be much help with this scenario. <laughs> Real helpful. Oh. oh, good. Those are in the setting, too. <laughs> Man, that wasn't supposed to be really rancid then. Is there anything you can If the goal is to <laughs> So basically you feel symptoms by letting it just pass through. Oh, The big thing trying to eat it. I was strangely not expecting that to actually show up in the episode. Oh, it's gonna end up grabbing Rody. That's weird that it it caught the and the fame claw. Alright, so I'm not gonna hear him hear his warning. <laughs> that looks like a so high roll. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting the stone field to be quite literal. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, blast. Blast, blast, blast. I was not expecting Twilight to go on quite the offensive. Yeah, gonna take a little work to get the full mastery of that, eh? I gotta appreciate that going aerodynamic got him blasted out of the way. Okay, he's barely kind of quite good out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, I love hearing boss jokes. If that sounds really bad, but I meant like temporary hearing loss. Jukes. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Twilight, you carry. It's not like wings make that much of a difference. Or he had legs that would let him carry. And he didn't have to carry you either. You, my man. Yeah, I appreciate him fishing for com compliments from Rarity and failing. <sighs> yeah, I'd say that was a solid episode. Big change to a character. The go on to the key mark thing. It does have, uh, again, the common problem of all these stories that some of it feels a little rehashy with Spike. Much in the same way that, you know, uh, any of the episodes, like a lot of the episodes with other characters. This is probably not the worst rehash Spike episode, but still. We'll... So I'd say it's pretty solid. Had a, had, a, had a couple good laughs, good chuckles. And I do enjoy the expansion of Dragon War. That isn't shit. Because I remember, the, like, the second time we got, uh, Dragon Lore, uh, the first time, it, what, they weren't exactly fantastic. Making dragons look great. Alright, next one on the list is another reaction. That saves me trouble. I think I'll need to restart and start again. But yeah, that was, that was a solid episode. Decently fun. I like that. He's really funny. Good chuckles here and there. Well, he, and, and like, the moment 
I, I didn't think about it before, but the moment Smolder showed up, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's how he gets the, the info about what's happening. I mean, in the parts of it that aren't great, that I would say weren't great with Dragon Lore, or at least consistent with previously established Dragon Lore, I do like the whole, yeah, no, the whole Greek growth thing, spurt is not actual growth, and generally temporary, which makes sense, you know, the Dragon Lands, most dragons who go through the Greek, Greek growth would get smacked down by actual full-grown dragons. Since they don't get reduced to mindless monsters. Monsters, but not mindless. <laughs> Maybe you'll find a village to terrorize. Or a guard or a village to terrorize. Well, Maybe not the last one. Well, it's a whole peace thing. Oh well. Good luck with that. Uh. Smolder's less from helpful advice. Entertaining. <sighs> I, I don't know really that. I, I can't help but be less of the impression uh, as a side that, yeah, you know, maybe the fans don't. It just might not have left much of an impression on the, the show and such. Like it's there, but it just doesn't feel like it's going to add much to the show. I mean, I feel like it works since this, these are the last two seasons and the show feels a little windy down. Now that I know it's the last two seasons. Yeah, you know, it's just cleaning up some loose threads in the series, but... Uh, yeah. I don't know what to say. It's... It wasn't exactly the most remarkable episode, despite the fact it was a big, important moment, so. Oh, that reminds me, uh, I recently saw that Baroni's React has gone back and started doing the earlier episodes. That's going to be a blast to watch for when I get caught up. It makes me want to do it sooner. It does conflict a bit with what I said before, but uh, I do need some time to, you know, make sure my ducks in a row for recording that one. Season 9, to do, yeah, the whole issues. But, uh, right. So I pray sign out, and I will see you again in the next episode.